Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Super Mario Galaxy on Nintendo Switch. Thanks to the awesome game Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What we're going to be doing today is jumping into the remainder of the engine room and finishing up whatever we can. The episode consists of Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor, and then we also have another little hungry Luma on the outside of the engine room. So let's just jump into it. Let's not waste any time. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for watching our 100% walkthrough, where by the end of this, we are going to get every single one of the stars. We're at like 70 plus right now, so very excited. All right, King Caliente's spicy return. Oh my gosh, if we remember him, he was a little octopus that uh, shot out like little meteors and we had to like play volleyball with them and hit it back. So yeah, I'm excited to see if he got any harder or what different attack patterns he's got. So anyway, thanks for coming. Okay, so we've got some little Goombas over here. Better watch out. These guys are a little flat, a little flat topped. Launch them. All right, pretty good, pretty good. So there's a one up over here. I don't know. Oh, I see what we have to do. Got it. So we've got to bring a cannon to fire away a bullet bill at us so that we can take said bullet bill. But we got to do it in a way that we actually um, bait him in a way that we bring him to where we need him. So let's see. Okay, here's the bullet. Is he coming still? Yeah, he's still coming. Okay, good, good. I don't know if this is where we need to go, but... It seems that oh that's a one up. I don't need to, I don't need the one up, but I guess I'll take it since I brought him this far. All right, here we go. We're going to go this way. Okay. We're going to try again. Okay, we're going to come across here. <laughs> this is like doing a U-turn. This is not exactly where I need to go, but that was where the one up was. Let's continue moving. There we go. Boom, break that open, and let's go. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Excited to see where it brings us. Okay, even more platforming. I thought we'd be at the boss spot right now. So these little little blue potoboos, or these little bubbles, are here. And I see King, oh, I see many Calientes. But I have to lob these coconuts back at them really quick. Yeah, that was very fast. Talk about really quick. Oh my gosh. Not too bad. And we've got six health right now, so we are in really good condition when it comes to the actual battle. Alright, if I give up any more Grand Stars, my dad's gonna get mad. So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. Alright. King Caliente. Let's see what he does differently. I mean, he's just, uh, he throws the little coconuts at him. Alright. All right, let's see. Oh, and these platforms. Oh, I see. So you gotta keep on running. Because if you don't keep on running... There we go. So you have to find, like, two platforms that you can just easily jump in between. And hopefully not get burnt. Like, that's the big part. Okay, easy. Seems pretty easy so far. All right, so he's got meteors. He's got his little blue bubbles. Oh, was that it? Oh my gosh, was that actually it? <laughs> if that was it, then um, King Caliente has got to do some more work because that was lukewarm. That was a very lukewarm performance. If I didn't struggle a bit... <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Okay, in his defense, we've already battled him once, so we already knew his gimmick. But, I don't know, King Caliente, man. Yeah, yeah, not so much. All right, no worries. We got ourselves a Grand Star, so that means that we should be able to open up a brand new portion of this starship. And, yeah, make things light up even more. So yeah, we could beat the game at any time, right? Like, that's just a given. Because we have enough of the uh, regular stars in order to do so. So we have a new little area that launches forward. 
And continue. King Caliente Spicy Return. We got it. Galaxy complete. Beautiful, beautiful. Add these. And we discovered a brand new galaxy right in the middle. Ooh, engine room's got one of the fast ones. So we're going to have to go back to the engine room. All right. So we're looking really good. Uh, there's a letter from someone. I don't know. Let's talk. Uh, here's a letter from Princess Peach. I'm in a faraway place, but I'm all right because you're coming to rescue me. I hope this gift comes in handy. And it's probably some one-ups. Yeah, cool. Whatever. I'll take five one-ups. Why not? Even when she's kidnapped, the princess is so thoughtful. Well, come see me next time there's a mail delivery. All right, not too bad. We'll take that. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to head on over to the engine room. Uh, I do want to show you guys that new area, but we've got a couple things that we have to do. So let's jump into the engine room. We've got a little bit of unfinished business in the form of that comet star, and I think it's going to be in the Toy Time Galaxy. So let's just jump in here and see where it brings us. All right, toy time. Yeah, there it is. It's the Fast Foe Comet in orbit. Okay. Now, this is going to be relatively tough. We got a Fast Foe, and we got to be able to do this in a way that we don't lose. So, what's it going to be? All right, this one's called Fast Foes of Toy Time, and I think there's a time limit on these. We'll see. Oh, oh no, I don't like this level, like, at all. I did not have any fun with this. <laughs> So great, great. All right, well, let's see. I guess what I should do is I should do the inner perimeter and then the outer perimeter first. Okay, is there? No, I don't think there's a timer on this. No, no, I'm good. No, as long as you just do the level. So as long as I do the outside of this part, jumping on over, hitting these. Like, honestly, if they're fast, it doesn't matter if they're fast, because, like, every time you just stand on this part, it's safe. I could have sworn there would be four of them there, but it doesn't appear that way. Uh-huh. Okay. Easy. So now that we got those four, let's actually jump down here, systematically. And let's go upwards. Let's see where upwards brings us. Yeah, and uh, you know what? I honestly never jumped in the pipe before, so I honestly didn't need it the last time, so why even bother, right? Let's go. Ooh, got spiked. Okay, so that fast foe is a little bit harder. Okay, so now this is a little tougher. Wow, I'm actually struggling with that part a little bit. Okay, okay, not too bad. I'm on the orange part, which is a little suboptimal because I wanted to end off on the orange part. But we'll be all right. Okay, here we go. So I do not want to get crushed by this guy. Oh, okay, very close. One, two... I was launched inside of him. Okay, easy. I'm not gonna get crushed. As long as I'm in the middle one. But we do have to take a U-turn. All the way back to that orange block. And then we're all set for this part. Not bad, not bad. Let me see. Oh, okay, these things stop moving after that? Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, so if they put a timer on this... If they put a timer on that, that would be a lot harder than what that actually was. It was just the enemies moving a little bit quicker. No timer needed, so that's going to be so easy for you. Just do it systematically. Do the, like, the inner circle and then that, like, weird thing that was in between it. You're all set. Easy. 77. Okay, moving on. Let's see. We are not going to save, but we're going to just double check inside the area. Just to make sure that we don't have anything outstanding. Yeah, everything is done. Everything has crowns minus, like, the secret stuff. And we'll get into, like, the secret stars way, way later in Let's Play. Okay, so now that we're here in this engine room, let's jump across. And let's feed this Hungry Luma. And then let's see exactly what this Hungry Luma wants. I think you need, like, a thousand. Hey, you. Yeah, you got any tasty star bits? We do. Burst with some snacky happiness. Famish. Need a thousand star bits. 
Yeah, we've got a thousand all for you. We've been saving up all day. And the entire, like, last couple episodes. That's it, you're stuffed. Here we go, transform. All right, easy, easy. Boom, turns into a brand new planet and now we get to jump in and explore it. Now these, uh, these little galaxies are going to be relatively easy because there's really just only like one star. And it's typically a hard one, so let's see what's up. This one's called Choosing a Favorite Snack, Sand Spiral Galaxy. Choosing a favorite snack? How can you choose a favorite snack when they're all good? All right, anyway. So from the looks of it, oh, we get to be either a bumblebee or a ghost. Well, hmm, uh, interesting, interesting. I don't know which one I'd want to be more, a bumblebee or a ghost. They all have their pros and cons. I think I'm going to go ghost, though, because we honestly haven't been Boo Mario a lot in this uh, entire walkthrough. So I'm going to go ghost. All right, so with ghost, you just keep on pressing the A button to fly. But the thing with ghosts is that, like, you can't get spotted by the, the light. And then these ghosts, like, fall in love with you? Excuse me? What? Why? That's weird. I know Mario is very, very charming looking, but yeah, this is weird. I didn't, uh, I did not expect that. Okay, that was relatively easy. <laughs> Tell me there's more. Oh my gosh! Star Mario? Okay. Cool. Whoa. Oh man, I wanted that extra star. Should have gotten it. Because now my star is gone. And now I'm just boring old Mario. <laughs> oh man, that would have been real cool. But like, I can probably shortcut through here. Like, no joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's exactly the way you're supposed to do that level, by the way. Um, no, I'm pretty sure speedrunners will do exactly that. But, no, I think it's a really cool level where you, you don't often get to be, like, Star Mario. So it's kind of a bummer that I didn't get to, like, chain three stars in a row and just keep on running with my arms wide open, but that's okay. Whatever, whatever. Alright, so we got a brand new galaxy. Um, according to this, there's no more things, no, like, shooting star, no comets or anything like that. So now that everything is pretty much caught up, what we can do is we can go to the new galaxy, which is a new section of the ship. And we can probably do, like, one or two of the little stars. We've got about half time of the episode. So let's move, let's move, let's move and groove. Here we go. All right, all the way up. Here we go. Oh, did we go inside this little house? I don't know if we did. Well, whose house is this? This is the gate. The gate. Oh, I don't want to be in the gate. No, 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 can I, can I leave? How do I leave the gate? Why, why am I here? So this is like the gateway galaxy. Oh, no thanks. I'm not, uh, I'm not excited about being here right now. Yeah, this is like the first level. You can actually go and say hi to Rosalina herself. Hi, what's up? I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. This planet, it's very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow up to be a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow, Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins, then you earn my trust, too. Red stars hold the power of the red lumas. But the really amazing part about them is they allow you to fly after you spin in mid-air. Yes, fly. While pressing B, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the L stick. If you can collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. Oh, cool! Yo, flying Mario? Dude, I thought this was at the end of the game. I thought this was like after you beat the entire game. You'll fly, Mario! 
holy moly, Mario's actually flying like wing cap style. Dude, I don't think I can do this. It's really wonky. It's hard, man. At, am I timed? I don't think I'm timed, thank goodness. If I was timed for this? Because it like... Yeah, it's a little, it's a little hard to describe. It's not wing cap. It's definitely something else, though. Yeah, it's it's definitely something else. But I like the outfit, though. Black and red it looks really sharp on Mario, man. You don't often see him in these colorations. Whatever. I don't need that right now. I'll get another one soon. Let's just get all the ones on the ground first. There we go. Done. And there's a Goomba here. Yo, why run when you can fly, am I right? No, we're just gonna get all the ones on the ground first, and then we're gonna fly up in the air. The power of the Lumas making Mario fly. Alright, so I'm gonna jump in here. We're gonna fly in the air. Look at that! Dude, Mario's flying. You have a liftoff. Imagine! Dude, that's too cool. I guess I gotta get used to it, right? If you're just out here flying? Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that. That's actually really cool. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let me see. Mario flying. Yo, T-posing in the air. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> alright, 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 let's move on. I have 89, there's only 11 left. So let's find these 11. Like, I honestly can't... The... Oh, man. The orientation is just too much for me sometimes. <laughs> Mario Galaxy, alright, let's, let's get this. Oh, okay, so you can you can fly in midair, and if you spin in midair, then something happens. Let's see. Yeah, any kind of like coins that are near you, you'll like magnet hands. I don't know. Cool. There's only two left, and they're right over here. Done. Dude, we're getting this red star. And I thought you only got this at the end of the game, dude. My memory serves me not correctly. Alright. So cool. We got ourselves a red star. So I guess that's a fun way of, like, fast traveling, right? Within the galaxy starship? That was a, a nice little surprise. I was not expecting to do that in this episode, like, at all. Okay, Hungry Luma appeared. I have zero, literally zero star bits. I'm gonna talk to him to see how much he wants. But now that we have it, shouldn't we have the ability to fly in the overworld? Dude, he said, like, we could use it somewhere else. I don't know, man. I gotta look around. Dude, we got ripped off. <laughs> Guy did not give us the stuff. Oh, it's alright. We'll find out. The the distant memory that I have... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No! I think I saw something down there. Hold on. There it is. Yo, why would you dare take anything else other than flying Mario through the galaxy? Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. Lion, man. So cool. Yo, Mario is legit flying right now. And he can go get that one up if he wanted to. You know, and I kind of want to. Look at that. 
Flying Mario. <laughs> Alright, let's go see how much this dude wants. I'm not going to feed him a, a single bit unless I have the full amount. He probably needs like 1,500 or something. 1,200. Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to feed him anything. Uh, so we did the gate. Let's actually move on to this next area. Like, forget going in the warp. Dude, I'm flying across. Oh, so cool. <sighs> Do a barrel roll. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is actually really fun. <laughs> what, where am I? What is this? Oh, is this the new galaxy? Okay, this is the new galaxy. Let's figure it out. Okay, here we go, number 46. Okay, this is Deep Dark Galaxy. We have this brand new one. Uh, Matter Splatter Galaxy. Oh, there's a lot of them over here. This one is Dreadnought Galaxy, and we have another brand new one over here, Melty Molten Galaxy. Okay, well, I think for the sake of the episode, let's just jump inside here, let's fly into Deep Dark, and uh, maybe do like one or two of them, and then on the next episode we'll hit up the, uh, the remaining ones. I'm excited, we've got brand new levels, it's looking really cool. Alright, Deep Dark Galaxy, the underground ghost ship, whoa, ghosts, hmm. Okay, underground ghost ship. Whoa, looks pretty good. I see some booze. I see, oh, some torches that need to be lit, it seems. So I gotta keep my eye out for any kind of fire flower power up in order to use that. All right, let's take a look. Hello, Captain Toad. What do you have to say to your, for yourself? Uh, we're currently on VK, uh, I mean, Gal Galactic Survey Duty. Please be patient with us. Okay. Okay, well, there's Yod. Yoda's sleeping like he typically does. Oh, there's a... Ooh, let me see. How do I open this up? I think this is more along the lines of you have to find a shell in order to open this. Yeah, okay, so we need some sort of shell. And I think that's it. That's our shell right there. Let's go get that and then pop that thing open. Beautiful. Gonna come up for some air. Like a little dolphin. Love it. Alright, let's see if we can snipe it from downtown. Boom, from downtown. It's just a one up. Lame. Alright, dude, not what I wanted. I'm so insulted. I'm gonna leave the one up there. What an idea. Alright. So, that appears that we do not have anything inside the water other than that shell. Okay, let's check the trees. Mario's good at climbing trees. Or not. Okay, this guy. Maybe I gotta destroy... Oh, that's a cannon right here. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, uh... Oh, look at this. So I can go to this planet. Land exactly on a star. In mid-air. And destroy all of these guys. Wow, these little guys, you'll get owned. No, thank you. Anyone else want some? Do I get anything? What happened? Where did my fire flower go? Oh, good. I'm like, what? what? Star Mario launched the fire flower out of here. Alright. So now we're going to go back to the area, we're going to hit the two torches with our fire flower, and we should be all set. Yo, I bounced a couple fireballs off a of Yod. Yod's little sleepy head. Ooh, burnt. Yo, at the last second, at the physical last second, we threw a fireball. That was amazing. Alright, here we go. Get this guy out of here. Alright, you know what, forget it. You're not worth it. Okay, moving on. There's a Blode. Uh, Blode's over there. What do we need him for? But we're going deep. Oh, oh. I don't like swimming without a shell, but I guess we're going to try it. Is there a literally a Blode under there? He's all the way to... Oh, that's Purple Toad. Oof, wow. The blooper got me. How do I hit the switch? There we go. Okay, so hitting the switch opens up a new area. I need some air, for sure. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 
What is this? Jellies? Oh, there's another switch. Whoa, this is actually kind of cool. Yeah. Really awesome. Wow. Okay, okay, so we made it. Yeah, we made it to the uh, the little preview. Nice, good job. Go me. Please a coin. May I have a coin, please? There's a ghost there, but I don't... Oh, I know how to get a, get rid of a ghost. There we go. We just gotta swing a ghost into the light. Or just allow the ghost to walk into the light himself. That's perfect. Alright, here's the airship. Okay, do we have a, a battle? What? Oh, Camilla? I was not expecting her, but I'll take her. She throws fireballs. Ooh. And then there's a ghost light over here. I'm curious. Alright, got a new one of these. Here we go. Get ready now. What? I pressed the wrong button. Get ready. Done. Right inside her. Okay. Oh, now she's like really furious. Can I just like punch her? I'm curious. Oh my gosh, she's huge! Yeah, I don't think I can just, like, spin punch her. So I just have to throw the green shells at her. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go to the very tip top. Why are there ghost lights all over? I'm very curious. Okay, she's got her little cronies, her little magikoopas. I want that shell, though. Okay, get ready, get ready. Oh, that's not good. Really not good. Oh, thank you for the coin, Magikoopa. That was really good. Alright, next. Green. Okay, and now we launch her. Get owned. Done. Is she done? That was three hits. Typically Mario fashion, you're done in three hits? Kind of? Not so much. Okay. Done. Okay, that was one more hit. Clink. A. Okay, we're good. That was awesome. Easy. Yo, that was so easy. You know what? I'm actually really happy about today's episode. We got a lot done. We've got our flying ability, the flying Mario, we got, oof, tons of good stuff. And then that's our 80th star. So good. Oh man, it's actually a perfect stopping point too. All right, why don't we jump in here and see what else is going on, right? Okay, so we did a little bit of Deep Dark Galaxy. Um, I think on the next episode, what we're gonna do is finish off Deep Dark and then maybe start into Dreadnought, maybe do a little bit of Melty Molten, and then do the Matter Splatter. So there's tons of stuff to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode of Super Mario Galaxy. We've got tons more happening. Remember, I think there's like over 100 stars, and we're only at 80 right now. So there's still a lot more to do, and there's a lot of backtracking that we have to do as well. So I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Thank you for being here. All right, that's going to be it. So look forward to another episode of Galaxy before you know it. We'll talk to you later. See ya. Alrighty. Folks, that's it. We did it. Yeah, dude, Flying Mario. Man, okay, so my distant memory of Flying Mario was I thought that was an end game thing. Like when I guess when I played Super Mario Galaxy when it first came out, like I got that at the very end, and maybe that's why I'm remembering it. But that's cool. You could just fly around. And I'm curious if you could do anything else with it. So if you guys know anything about that, please let me know in the comment section below and we'll go from there. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you're alerted of all the latest and greatest Nintendo Switch content. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next galaxy. Take care.